Hello everyone, my name is Elle and welcome to hashtag 365 days of samples. I'm going to apologize right at the very beginning here because I'm not feeling the greatest. My energy level is pretty low today. So just wanted to say that in advance because I'm probably not going to be as energetic as I normally am or try to be, but I'm going to try my best. Um, in case you are new, Welcome. I've had so many new people to my channel recently and it is awesome. Um, hashtag 365 days of samples is a project I started last year in 2016 to work through my samples. So foils, deluxe size products, travel size products, stuff like that. I had a giant box and I've really worked through a lot of stuff and any new samples I get I add to the box and I've just been rotating through every two weeks. So I alternate my Sunday video, because there's always a video up on Sunday, and it's either a lipstick related video or my hashtag 365 days of samples. So if you haven't seen any of these updates before, I do have a playlist, which I would highly recommend. Um, but essentially, I break down my products at the very beginning into categories such as things I would not purchase, things I'd like to try again, and things that I would purchase the full size of, because trying them out in this sort of context really helps me form an opinion on whether or not it's something that I would like to use again in the future. And I have bought quite a few things based off of the sample. So I think that explains it enough, but if you have any other questions, just let me know down below and I will gladly answer you there. All right, so let's get started. So I always start by talking about the products that I would not purchase the full size of. So the first thing I have here is from Shuamura, and this is the Ultimate Remedy Extreme Restoration Treatment for Ultra Damaged Hair. So first thing, huge pet peeve when it comes to samples is when they have no instructions anywhere on the packaging. So I had to go search for the best way to use this product because it, nowhere on here does it say you know put on dry hair, put on wet hair, and it does say to put on clean wet hair hair. So that's how I used it. So there was only enough in this little packet to get one use out of, but it did absolutely nothing for my hair. So when I looked it up, it said to leave on for between five to 10 minutes. I left it on for 10 minutes, the full 10 minutes, because my natural hair is very thin, very dry. So anyway, this did nothing. In fact, once I rinsed it out, so what I did was I shampooed my hair first, put this stuff in for 10 minutes and then rinsed it out. And my hair felt so dry after rinsing this stuff out that I had to go in with a really thick conditioner and then leave in conditioner afterwards. And my hair still, it just doesn't feel good. Like it's supposed to be an extreme restoration treatment for ultra damaged hair. And my hair is pretty damaged and it just, my hair just did not feel healthy at all after rinsing out this product. So very let down and it's just not something I'm willing to try again. The next product that I would not purchase the full size of is from Kopari, and this is the coconut melt, and this is nothing but pressed coconut oil. I bought a big jar from Costco a while ago. That's the way to go. I mean, that was like less than $20 Canadian for a ginormous container of that stuff, and it's just serves so many purposes. So this just didn't seem any different than that stuff. So to use this stuff up, I put it in my hair. I put it a little bit on my face and my body. Every now and then when I get really, really dry patches, I really like coconut oil because it really just seems to soothe my skin and it just sort of gives a little hydration back. And right now I've had a little bit of dryness around my nose area, especially where I've been sick and blowing my nose a lot. So just a little bit of coconut oil on the sides of my nose really helps a lot with that dryness and that soreness. Um, which if you've had a cold for a while, you will know what I mean. It just gets really sort of irritated and just a few little dry spots on my body. So it's not a bad product, definitely not. But I know that it's really expensive because it's just got really cute packaging. Like it's got cute branding, but there's nothing unique about it. You can buy it at Costco or, or at the grocery store or anywhere else because um, it's just coconut oil. All right, and the last thing that I would not purchase the full size of is the Givenchy Mascara. This is the Noir Couture 4-in-1 Mascara in black satin. So this has a pretty interesting brush, um, but I just, I wasn't crazy about this mascara. I felt like it did an okay job at separating my lashes, but I didn't feel like I had a lot of, of length or a lot of 
volume really, it was just okay. Um, I always felt like I was getting it on my lid as well, just I felt like I had to really twist and turn this brush to get sort of good coverage and to kind of build it up a little bit, so it's just not for me. There are other mascaras that I really like better. I have two products that I am decluttering, and if you watched my last update, these two should come as no surprise to you, lip glosses. I am not a lip gloss person at all. The Buxom lip glosses, this one is in mudslide, they're way too sticky for me. I think they look absolutely beautiful, but I just hate that stickiness. I hate that tackiness, so, you know, I used this once and then went, nope, nope. No. <laughs> Getting rid of that. And then the Bite lip gloss, it's not sticky. It feels really good, but I just, I don't like glosses, so I'm not, I'm not gonna keep it. The thing with this one too is like, it's a really pretty deep purple color. You know, I want to like it, but I just don't like the feeling of lip gloss on my lips. I don't like wearing it. I just, it makes me feel very uncomfortable having it just sort of sit on my lips. I just, I'm not a lip gloss person. It takes a lot to impress me when it comes to a lip gloss. I can think of like two off the top of my head that I have enjoyed using a lot and that's pretty much it. I do have one product that I am moving out and back into my collection. So I'm not decluttering it, I'm keeping it. I'm just not trying to finish it up. This is from The Balm. It's the Cindy Luminizer. It's pretty, I used it a couple times, just enough to know that I wanted to keep it, not enough that I want to pan it. I changed my mind a little while ago with this project and decided to not make it essentially a panning project. So working on like travel size makeup or deluxe size makeup products can take a long time and you can be working on them for months. And especially where I have other projects I'm working on, I'd rather just pull these out and use them later and that way I can rotate through more stuff and, and play with more things and figure out what I want to keep and what I want to declutter because that's been more useful to me than just trying to finish a product for the sake of finishing it. So I do actually have two products that I would purchase the full size of. The first one is from Tata Harper and this is the Clarified Mask and I think this is the first Tata Harper thing that I've really really liked. So this is a clarifying mask. It says, it says it's for blemish prone skin. So I don't break out that often, just every now and then, but I decided to use it just to see if it would treat my face well. Um, I, I've, I've had a few struggles over the last month or so, so I just haven't put a high priority on skincare, which is bad. I know um, just self-care has been a little bit of a struggle, so. Anyway, um, I decided to sort of treat myself to the mask and it was really nice. The best thing is that, so there's the foil packet and there was only enough in this to use once, but it was enough for me to know that I liked it. Um, this has a wonderful card that explains exactly how to use the product. I love that, thank you. So it said to apply a thick layer on the face and neck, leave for 15 to 20 minutes, massage the skin with warm water to gently exfoliate before thoroughly rinsing. And so that is what I did and my skin looked and felt amazing. So it's a green mask, uh, really green. It's got a slight minty scent. Um, it actually reminds me of a face mask, or I think it was a face and body mask, that I used from Lush. No, that's a dirty word on my channel. Um, but I used that years and years ago now. That was the Mask of Magna Minty. And I had that in quite a few empties way, way back in the day when I still bought Lush products. And that's, this reminds me of a more refined version of that because that was very chunky. And this is very refined, very, everything's really finely like milled. There's no chunks of anything. And it just has that same sort of scent and the, and the same sort of tint to it. And I just really liked the way that this made my skin look and feel. I felt like everything was sort of tightened a little bit. I felt like my skin looked a little bit more even overall. Like I was really impressed with it just using it once. I felt like my skin looked so much better. So definitely a product going on my wish list. And the last product that I would purchase the full size of is from Guerlain. And this is a bronzer. And I know, I know. Um, I've never really been a bronzer kind of person. I'm wearing the last bit of that bronzer today in my face and I just feel like it's so natural. Like I just feel like it gives my face that little bit of warmth, but it doesn't overwhelm it. It doesn't look orange, which is crazy because almost every bronzer I've used in the past has made me look orange. And that's why I don't like it because I just felt like I could never find one that was 
with the right tone, I guess. And so this one really worked for me. So this is the Terracotta Bronzer. It's in the shade 3 Natural Brunette. Um, it does have a few shades that are lighter, so potentially I could get a lighter shade if I wanted to, something that might I didn't have to blend out as much perhaps, because the formula was so nice. It just really was soft and easy to blend, like I was just impressed with this little cardboard sample thing. So what it says about it is that it's ultra natural, mistake proof, and easy. This worked so well for me. So surprising, like I said, this is the first bronzer I can remember in a long time that I just loved using and I loved how it looked on my skin. I just like to give my face a little bit of bronziness, even though it doesn't match the rest of me. So that leaves me with just two products that I'm still working on and the reason why I'm still working on them is because I accidentally misplaced them. I put them in my bathroom to use, put them right on the counter so I'd remember to use them, and my son was playing around with stuff that was sitting on the counter so I put everything away and then I forgot about it. Because with me, out of sight, out of mind. So I'm going to continue to work on these and I'm going to really try and put them somewhere where I will constantly reach for them and finish them up because I did I do like both of them so far. The uh, Dr. Dennis Gross C Plus Collagen Brighten and Firm Vitamin C Serum and the Ren Keep Young and Beautiful Instant Firming Beauty Shot. So those are the two things that I have left. I am starting to lose my voice. I have been coughing a lot during this. I'm sorry guys. Um, so let's just do this really quickly. I'm gonna choose eight things. That's a lot. Eight things. I have a few new things in here from a few orders. Don't kill me. Anyway, uh, there's a few things that I'm really excited to try, so we'll see what I pick. Eight things is a lot, so let's do this quickly. Alright, so... The first thing I have here is from Sephora, and this is the Cleansing Cream in Rose for face and eyes. The second product is... This thing from Makeup Forever, this is the Artist Acrylic. It's a lip paint. Ooh, there's three shades of lip paint in here. We have a pink, a deep red, and a purple. So this, this is fun. I'm really excited for this, especially that purple shade. All right, so the third thing. Let's see what we've got here. I have... The Do Not Age from Dr. Brandt Dream Night Cream with Black Pearl Extract. The next thing I have here is from Dior and this is the Dream Skin One Minute Mask. All right, so that was four products. Let's quickly choose the fifth one. We have from Too Faced the Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Perfecting Primer. Excellent. I'm really excited to try this. The sixth sample is from Laneige, and this is the Water Bank Moisture Cream. The seventh sample is Perfume from YSL. This is Black Opium. I've used this a few times and I really like it and it's such a good fall scent so I'm so glad I pulled that one. This is all pretty good. Alright, so we just need one more sample. Let's get something else good here. So We have from Fresh the Vitamin Nectar Vibrancy Boosting Face Mask. I think with all of the like treatments and things here Life is trying to tell me something. Take that can of your skin. I've got like a couple of masks, a lot of skincare this week, but you know what? That's good. That's good. All right, so that is everything for this update. Thank you so, so much for spending some of your weekend with me. Uh, I just, I love these Sunday videos. It's so much fun. And let me know if you have any thoughts on any of the products that I finished up or any of the things that I'm going to be using over the next two weeks. If there's anything I should be aware of, please let me know. All right, so I hope you have a wonderful week ahead of you. I will see you next week for Lipstick Sunday and in two weeks time for hashtag 365 days of samples. Bye for now.